party poppers. We've all seen them, but how exactly do they go pop? <laughs> now, the way I learn is I take things apart. Now, for this particular object, this is not one you should try to take apart at home. Considering one of the statements on the side clearly states in capital letters, do not deconstruct, do not dismantle. Now, as a pyrotechnician, I am going to dismantle it. Now, to do that, I first of all need to get into the business end of the party popper. So I need to get rid of this cardboard lid. So I'm just going to give it a quick squeeze. And there, it just lifts out. And that reveals the streamers. So I should be able to just tip them out. There you go. Now, they're all raveled up at the moment, quite neat. But as soon as you let that party popper off, what happens is they're forced out of the container and that unravels them like this. And so they gracefully fly through the air, just like that. Then, underneath those streamers is another cardboard layer. Now, to get this one out, I need to be a little bit more careful because believe it or not, on the other side of this cardboard layer is the explosive. Now, I know that sounds a little dramatic, talking about explosives when I'm holding a party popper, but there is actually an explosive in party poppers. So if I just give it a quick squeeze, just that cardboard lid, try and get that out of the way. I'll try and show you where that explosive is. Come on, there we go. It's just in there, I don't know if you can see it. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut down the side of the container just to try and lift it out, tease it out, because it's actually attached to this string. And I should be able to lift it out like that. That is the explosive. Now, you can't actually see it at the moment because it's underneath all of that paper. But here I've got one that I've unwrapped. And you see that red stuff there? That is the explosive. And it's actually a silver fulminate potassium chlorate mix. It's sort of like a gunpowder paste. Now, it's not going to ignite just as the string, so without the paper. Because believe it or not, it's actually that paper wrap that makes the party popper go pop. And here's how. So, this is the igniter system. Now, you just saw that the, yes, the gunpowder paste is inside that paper wrap and this entire thing sits within the party popper and it's this string that sort of dangles out. And when you pull that string, the string can move, but this whole paper explosive combo can't because it's wedged in the neck of the container. So the string moves, the paper doesn't, the string slides past the paper and as it slides past, there's friction. Now the explosive in here is a primary explosive, which means it's super sensitive. So that friction creates just enough heat to ignite it. Like this. Woo! <laughs> That's a little louder than you might expect. Now, friction obviously has more important uses than just making party poppers go pop. There are so many jobs in engineering that use friction and try to take advantage of friction. Like braking systems, there you want to increase the friction. And friction is used throughout braking systems from Formula One cars to children's bicycles. But sometimes engineers want to reduce friction. So they use bearings, rollers, and oil and grease. So this stuff, knowing this stuff, is not just about making party poppers go pop. <laughs>